Right, morning everyone. G'day everyone and welcome back to Nat's Knackers Yard. I'll be Nat, my Knackers Yard will be on there. Uh, this will be the Thundercat that's looking pretty stupendous, I have to say. Particularly now I've done that front mug garden, it's just tied it all in so the mug guard's now the same colour as the uh, as the belly pan. Um, yeah, so what? Well, we're going to work, but uh, I noticed last night that today is my birthday. Today isn't my birthday, today is my channel's birthday, so the channel is two years old. Two years old today was when I first set it up. So, um, so what, I, I thought, how do I mark this occasion? And I thought about like making a montage of all of the stuff that I've done over the last two years, but frankly, that's pretty much my intro. There's a few bits that, 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 that aren't on there, but, um, but I just thought, that, well, no, the video's already there. If you're gonna see him, see him. That's uh, little Skylar the dog. Um, yeah, so what's happened in two years? Well, in two years, I've fucked around with, I think, about 22 bikes, uh, just shy of 400 videos, or videos, uploads. Yeah, well, you can let me out, but if they're not going to let me out the other way as well, that's a bit of a moot point. Get off your fucking... Oh, it wasn't his phone, it's his vape. Uh, it's very nice when people let you out, but it doesn't mean the other side of traffic's going to... Um, I thought what I could, uh, the traffic's really heavy at the moment, I'm not quite sure why, but um, I did do some, I did do an upload yesterday and um, had about three not quite but near misses on the way into work, which was quite interesting, so I, I, I might just drop some of those in this, in this bit of footage and carry on on the spiel on this. Um, but yeah, it's um, it's all good, baby. It's all good. Just watch my new mirrors. <laughs> um, yeah, so two years, just short of 400 videos. I think I, I'm, I'm keeping an eye on my subscriber count because I think I'm, I'm on 910, 915, something like that. So you know, that's that's pretty pretty fucking good, uh, frankly. Um, you know, it's it's all on the road towards monetization. Although I'm still not sold as to whether or not I will, but it's nice to know you can type thing. Um, and it's, I mean, there there are percentages out there, but you know, a, a small it, it, we we all get attracted towards big sites because that's where YouTube pushes us towards. But you know, the the vast majority, the sort of you know 90% of YouTube channels don't get to a thousand news, uh, a thousand subscribers. Um, they just don't. They just don't get that far don't make it that far so um, yeah I'm, I'm dead chuffed with that and it's all down to um, you lot um, sat there you know jumping onto your phone when you got five minutes and having a look or I know some people you know watch on big TVs which is which is terrifying prospect to think that I'm on someone's TV I don't know why that feels different to me than being on their phone but um, but yeah you know whatever 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 medium you use but um, but yeah it's um, it's it's fucking amazing frankly um, I think you know the top video which is still I think my um, uh, naked conversion of an uh, XJ900 diversion um, is on something like six and a half thousand views something like that but that you know that's that's bloody amazing um, uh, and, 
uh, and you know it's not why I did it it's to be useful and, and that is a useful video I mean most most of my videos most of my uploads are just you know following the journey of me pissing around with a bike um, and frankly that's the sort of thing that Uh, that's the sort of thing that I enjoy watching, um, and I watch several other channels for, for that for that purpose. And I, and I won't name them all, and I won't. In fact, I won't name any because I'll probably upset somebody by forgetting the, by forgetting theirs. But um, but you know that's that's I enjoy watching that sort of stuff. Occasionally, very occasionally, I do something that might be of use to several others. And and you know with the XJ900. Um, diversion, um, naked conversion, that's something that quite a few people do and I, and I still get you know, comments and questions on that video saying, oh, how did you do this and how did you do that? From, from people that are trying to do exactly the same. So, you know, occasionally you hit a little bit of a sweet spot uh, and, and you find, you know, a subject that others want to do, um, which is cool, which is really cool. Driving school, nice. I like tigers. Nice, nice bikes. Um, yeah, so occasionally you hit something like that. The, my most popular videos, I think, tend to be ones with ride out or test ride in the title. You know, the, 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 whereas the, the regular viewers uh, and, and predominantly the subscribers seem to enjoy watching the journey of a bike go from what I start with to what I end up with. Um, those that receive higher, like one-off non-subscriber views, tend to be sat on a bike and, and cruising around with it, um, which makes sense because I do that quite a lot. You know, if I if I see a bike and think, oh, I might have a go at that, I'll, I'll have a I'll have a bit of a snuggle around YouTube to see what other people have done with them or, or you know their opinions on them, how they ride. And there's a lot of you know old school uh, sort of men and motors type. Um, uh, reviews that, that you tend to find because they tend to be the era of the bikes that you know I ultimately end up buying which is predominantly sort of you know 90s bikes the occasional 2000 but really uh, not that many um, so far anyway and I'll see what happens next uh, so yeah channels going from strength to strength it's booming through um, now Charlie the motorcycle rescuer said it several times and, and I rarely I rarely disagree with Charlie. Um, we agree on many things, but one thing I do disagree with, you know, as the the assertion that the the subscriber count only goes up, um, and you know, there, there is a degree of truth to that. Although I do disagree when you're at lower numbers. So, you know, the analogy I use that, or, or that I sort of come up with walking a dog this morning, that you know, if you've got four quid in your pocket and you and and two of it disappears. You feel it because you've lost half your money. Um, if you've got 40 quid in your pocket and you lose two, or 400 quid or 4,000 quid in your pocket and you lose two, it's less of a drama because it is a considerably smaller percentage of what you've got. You know, if you lose two quid out of your pocket and you've got you had 4,000 in there, fuck it, it's only two quid um, as opposed to losing half your stuff. So, you know, you do lose subscribers. They do drop on and drop off, which is fine. You know, I have subscribed to channels and then unsubscribed at a later point just when I do some periodic weeding because I realise that I'm getting so many notifications that I'm I'm missing stuff that I actually want to see. Um, and that's other people doing exactly the same. Obviously, when you've got larger numbers, you notice that less. Um, so looking at Charlie's channel, uh, The Motorcycle Rescuer, you know, it doesn't, I don't know how long ago it was that he, that he monetized and then hit his thousand. It was a little while ago. It doesn't feel that long ago. But, um, but you know, he's kind of doubled that since then because when you get past that mark and you do monetize, then YouTube pushes you more. Um, uh, not through good grace. YouTube pushes you more because um, they get money through advertising. So, you know, it's, it's, it's not completely altruistic of them. It's, um, it is for a purpose. It is a business when it comes down to it for them. And that's what's kind of turning me off monetizing. I, I, you know, I don't, don't want it to be a business. It's a, I'm a tit in a shed and I enjoy what I'm doing. Um, if I make money at the end of it through the sale of a bike, uh, then bro, I'll buy some new tools and, it, and I'll buy another bike uh, to piss around with. Um, uh, I'm not, I've never been in this for profit. It is a hobby. 
but you know, it'd be nice if that hobby can uh, self-fund itself, which it, it, you know, frankly, it pretty much does uh, without monetization. It's just on sales uh, as much as anything else. But that said, I know I have been quite fortunate, <laughs> and at some point I'll make a, 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 a loss or a dramatic loss on a bike, um, potentially on Kermit actually, but. Um, do have to have a word with yourself periodically. I'm not in it for money. I'm here to keep the bike on the road and make sure somebody enjoys it. Um. So what? Happy birthday to me! Well, happy birthday to the channel! Two years and I've fucking loved every minute of it. Um, uh, and it's you guys and girls, and uh, according to my Facebook stats, mostly guys um, that are watching it that has made it, you know, quite the enjoyable experience that it is. Um, you know, I would enjoy it if nobody watched it because I quite enjoy filming it, but I enjoy it especially because people watch it, people engage, people chat, people offer suggestions, uh, and I am incredibly grateful for that. I am not an expert, I do not know what I'm doing, I'm learning by book, I'm learning by example of others, um, and that assistance is um, greatly appreciated, uh, greatly appreciated. Um, as is, you know, advice saying that actually, that you did it this way, you might want to try it this way, or or similar. Um, it just it, it adds a sense of community. Sounds a bit wet, but yeah, it is a sense of community around it, um, which is which is brilliant. Uh, it's, it's 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 a really it turns it into a nice experience. Um, and I've said it before, and I'll say it again: the internet can be a fucking horrible place. Um, uh, yeah, my my my, uh, my other half's a teacher, and you know the amount of online abuse and bullying that that a lot of kids suffer nowadays. I can't even get my head around because um, it, that didn't exist in my youth. But um, but yeah, it, it can be a fucking horrible place. It can also be a fucking amazing place, um, uh, full of support, full of. Sounds even more damp to say love, but you know, full of, full of regard for each other, regard for fellow human beings, um, and I particularly experienced that when uh, uh, when I had COVID. Um, uh, not that that was a particularly nasty experience; it wasn't particularly fucking pleasant either. But um, but yeah, the, the sort of outpouring of, of support and get well soon, mate, type stuff um, was was lovely. It was it was it was exactly what was needed at the time when I was just feeling, you know. A little bit down and a little bit pissed off with myself, um, and uh, and yeah, it's as as much as the internet can be a shocking place for mental health. Uh, it can be an amazing place as well. Uh, so for all of you, thank you very much for making this last two years uh, uh, a joyful experience, uh, and uh, and here's to the next two years, hopefully. Cheers, all. I'll catch you later on.